All right, I feel it's high time they get their due. So I got to take a moment and we're going to bask in that glory of Generation Z, that most enlightened, advanced, flawless generation that has ever, we've ever had the privilege to win. I mean, really, can we just acknowledge how lucky we are to be living in the age of TikTok? I mean, finally, we have a generation that truly understands what's important in life, likes, followers, and that perfect selfie angle. But I'm going to be a little real here. No other generation has come close to that sheer genius that Gen Z has displayed in transforming the world around them. They've revolutionized communication by reducing it to 10 second videos and emojis. It saves so much time. I mean, because they've ensured by doing this that no one has to waste their time, you know, actually talking to each other. I mean, we can get rid of the textbooks because who needs them when you can learn everything from memes or a 280 character message on Twitter slash X, right? Truly, Generation Z has definitely mastered the art of living in the moment because let's face it, why worry about the future when you can get that new filter that's been just put on Instagram? I mean, they've shown us that the true key to happiness is not hard work and actual connections and deep connections with family and friends, but curating that perfect online persona. And for that, we should all be internally grateful and all say all hail the Z. I also want to take a look at that area where Gen Z truly shines. You know, technology. I mean, we've all heard the stories of how boomers and Xers had the trouble setting clocks on their VCRs and how millennials were so proud of their MySpace profiles. But none of this compares to the unparalleled technological expertise of Generation Z. I mean, Gen Z has taken the concept of digital native to a whole new level. They mastered the art of staring at a screen for hours on end, all while maintaining the illusion of productivity. It's incredible how they can juggle scrolling through Instagram, binge watching Netflix, and texting five friends at once, all without ever having to look up from their screen. So who needs interaction in actual connections when you have Wi-Fi? And we cannot forget their incredible contribution to society through social media. Thanks to Gen Z, we now live in a world where the most important conversations happen in 15 second videos and the pinnacle of human achievement is going viral. You remember the days when people actually had to create something of value to really become famous? I mean, thank God those dark times are behind us. Now, anyone with a ring light and a vague sense of humor can become an influencer. Truly, this is our golden age. And of course, we can't talk about Gen Z's technological prowess without mentioning their uncanny ability to keep up with the latest trends. I mean, whether it's the newest app or the hottest meme, they're always ahead of the curve. They've turned updating their phones into a form of art because after all, who wouldn't want to trade in last year's model for the slightly shinier one. Sustainability, schmustainability. I mean, what really matters is having the latest gadgets, right? And we cannot fail to mention their influence on the job market. I mean, Gen Z has single-handedly redefined what it means to have a career. I mean, forget about becoming a doctor, engineer, scientist. I mean, really, those are so last century. I mean, the future is in content creation. Why say lives when you can get paid to post videos of yourself lip syncing to the latest pop hit? They have shown us that the true path to success lies in building a brand around your personality because clearly that's what the world needs more of. It's not just their technical savvy that sets them apart. No, their work ethic is something to be admired as well. I mean, in a world that constantly demands more, Gen Z has bravely decided to do less. They perfected the art of quiet quitting, showing us that all the key to a fulfilling career is doing the absolute minimum required to not get fired. After all, why put in the effort when you can just coast by? They have also redefined what it means to be a hard worker. I mean, gone are the days of the long hours and dedication. Instead, they've shown us that the best way to work is to never actually leave your bed. Remote work, Gen Z didn't just embrace it. They took it to the next level. Who needs a desk when you have a comfy pillow and laptop? They've proven that you can be just as unproductive from home as you are in the office. And now we got to talk about their values because if they are nothing if not principled, they are the first to stand up for what they believe in, especially if it means posting a black square on Instagram or sharing some viral hashtag. I mean, activism has never been so easier thanks to Z's because their commitment to slacktivism. I mean, why go to a protest when you can make a difference from your couch? They've shown us that real change happens not in the streets, but in the comments section. And of course, absolutely, their dedication to self-care is also worth mentioning. They've taught us that the most important person in the world is yourself. Mental health days, 
They invented them, really. I mean, need a break from overwhelming stress of posting selfies? Take the day off. I mean, after all, if you're not taking care of yourself, who will? They've proven that the key to a balanced life is to focus entirely on your own needs while ignoring everyone else's. And when it comes to sustainability, Gen Z is all about it. When it's convenient. They've shown us the importance of saving the planet by sipping iced coffee from metal straws while driving their gas-guzzling SUVs to the nearest fast fashion store. It's a thought that counts, right? I mean, who cares about the environment as long as you're using a reusable bag at the grocery store? And when it comes to cultural contributions, they are truly in a league of their own. They've redefined what it means to be fashionable, and thank goodness for that. I mean, the days of carefully crafted outfits are long gone. They're replaced by Gen Z's, you know, I rolled out a bad aesthetic. They've made it clear that effort is overrated. Why bother looking polished when you can rock the same hoodie for a week straight? Comfort over style is their motto. And let's not forget their impeccable taste in reviving trends that should have stayed dead. Fanny packs, bucket hats. I mean, Gen Z has made it their mission to bring back every questionable fashion choice from the past and try and make it cool again. It was not cool in the first place. They've shown us that no matter how ugly something is, if enough people wear it, it's suddenly fashionable. I mean, who needs style and good taste when you have trends? And this little zombie influence does not stop at fashion. They've also revolutionized entertainment. They've taken the concept of content creation and new heights, proving that you don't need talent or creativity to go viral. All you need is a smartphone, a ring light, and a willingness to embarrass yourself in front of the world. Gen Z has definitely shown us that the key to success in the entertainment industry is to just lower the bar so everyone can step over it. And now here's the hard chunk to swallow, but we got to talk about their contribution to the art of conversation. I mean, thanks to the Zs, the days of deep, meaningful discussions are over. Who needs to engage in thoughtful debate when you can just share a reaction? When Z has mastered the art of saying everything and nothing at the same time, they've shown us that the best way to communicate is through emojis and abbreviations. Because why use full sentences when you can just say and call it a day? And what about their obsession with nostalgia? I mean, they have shown us that the key to staying relevant is to constantly reminisce about a time you weren't even alive for. It's truly inspiring to see a generation so committed to reliving a past they never experienced. And what about these amazing interpersonal skills that they have? I mean, we know they've taken communications to new heights by eliminating it almost entirely. In a world where face-to-face -face interaction is becoming increasingly rare, Gen Z has led the charge in perfecting the art of avoiding people. Why have a conversation when you can just send a text? Or better yet, why text at all when you can simply like someone's post to show that you care? And when it comes to maintaining friendships, I mean, Z's have it all figured out. Who needs quality time when you have social media? They've shown us that the best way to keep a friendship is through likes, comments, and an occasional DM. I mean, forget about meeting up in person. Everything you need to know about your friends can be found in their Instagram stories. But it's not just friendships that Z's have redefined. They've also revolutionized the way we handle conflict. I mean, gone are the days of talking things out. Gen Z has shown us that the best way to deal with disagreement is to simply ghost the other person. Why bother with confrontation when you can just disappear? It's the ultimate power move. And for those times when ghosting isn't an option, the Zs have mastered the art of passive-aggressive communication like no one else. Subtweeting, vague posting, and sending cryptic messages are all part of their conflict resolution toolkit. Why address a problem directly when you can just post a moody quote and let someone else guess what's wrong? It's much more fun that way. They have also redefined what it means to be supportive. They've shown us that the best way to be there for someone is to share their post or like their status. Who needs a shoulder to cry on when you have online validation? I mean, they have proven that the true measure of friendship is how many likes you can rack up on a sad post. So I can't forget to mention their contribution to the dating scene. Oh, thanks to Gen Z, the days of awkward first dates are over. I mean, why go out for coffee when you can just swipe right? They've shown us that the key to finding love is through endless scrolling and superficial judgments. I mean, after all, who needs to get to know someone when you can just swipe left? So in conclusion, I have to say, it's clear that Gen Z is without a doubt the best generation that has ever graced this planet. They've shown us how to live our best lives by doing as little as possible while looking fabulous doing it. They've redefined what it means to work 
communicate, and contribute to society. And for that, we should all be eternally grateful. So let's all take a moment and reflect how much better the world is now that Gen Z thinks that they are in charge. They've proven that they don't need to work hard, think deeply, or connect with others to be successful. All you need is a smartphone, an internet connection, and the ability to fake it until you make it. So here's the Generation Z, the pioneers of the digital age, the masters of social media, and the true champions of doing the absolute minimum. May they continue to lead us into the future where everything is instant, superficial, and utterly meaningless. Because really, who needs substance if you have style? So thank you, Generation Z, for showing us all the way. You've taught us that it's okay to be self-absorbed as long as you look good doing it. You've shown us that real change doesn't require action, just a well-timed tweet. And you've proven that the most important thing in life is not what you do, but how many people are watching you do it. So as we look to the future, we can all rest easy knowing that the world is in the capable hands of Generation Z. With their unwavering commitment to convenience, their dedication to doing the least amount possible, and their obsession with online validation. There is no doubt in my mind that they will continue to lead us to new heights, or at the very least, to the next trending hashtag.